Hi friends, how are you? Welcome to my class. English methodologies, teaching methodologies. Discussion here for primary classrooms. Friends, today some learning object is here. English opens up many opportunities. Recognize the importance of imparting English at primary level. Realize that it is necessary to learn English to meet the present day demands. To understand the complexities, complexities involved in translation. Translate the content into their mother tongue. So, participants in groups. Appoint a reporter of each group. Taken from professional course books. Translate the content into their mother tongue. Here, friends, here I am giving some contents. This type. Export from a book of medicine. Ex export from a law book. Export from a computing book. Excerpt from an engineering book. Not everything which is written in Telugu is easier than English. According to Companies Act 2013, textbook of law of contents, relief, advantages and specifics. So these are the English for professionals, authors and books given here. So follow some English professional books, handouts. Coming to Today I am going to explain prepositions. Pick and say. This is one of the activity. It goes to 20 minutes in the primary classrooms. Make it into groups, participants. Go through the given sentence in a handout. Sentence makes complete sense. Ask the students answer the questions given at the end of the handout. Sensitize the students. These small words kept from before the nouns and pronouns are called prepositions. So what is prepositions? Today I am going to explain prepositions. What is prepositions? The small words kept before the nouns and pronouns are called prepositions. So going to nouns and pronouns. Here are small sentences. Some prepositions here. On, in, from, at, under, over. So use these prepositions and fill the given sentence. Before nouns and pronouns. Here is 10 sentence. So use on, in, from, at, under, over. Use these prepositions in Correct place. Correct sentence. The first one. The man is the bed. So, what comes here? The man is before nouns and pronouns. A small word comes here. On. On the bed. Man is on the bed. Use on. Ramu is playing in the ground. Here some X. Choose correct preposition and bring to, to the sentence. Suresh balked. Ramu is playing in the ground. In comes here. In. Suresh bought the vegetables market. Which is the preposition suitable here? From the market. The beautiful tree is the forest. Where is the beautiful tree? The beautiful tree is in the forest. In comes here. In. Mohan and Chinmay read the school. Read the school is not correct. So, which is the preposition bring here? At. The place. When the place comes, the place of the school means at comes here. At, at, at the school. They met 5 o'clock. When the times comes, the preposition used at. 
they met at 5 o'clock the bed is dash the fan the bed is dash the not dash the bed is the fan so what what is the preposition used here here under over which is correct under is correct so where is the fan you question where is the fan the fan is up roof under the roof so where is the bed the bed is under the fan the boy is the tree so where is the boy where is the tree where is the boy the boy is there not dash the bring the preposition here the boy is the tree the boy is on the tree the boy is on the tree tree the man is running the road so where is the man where is he running so like these questions ask the students bring the preposition here the man is running on the road not in the road not under the road so explain through mother tongue and bring the correct prepositions to the sentence the man is running on the road the tiger jumped the deer so how, how the tiger jumped on the deer you on not comes here so on you should not say so which is the correct word here on in from at under over so which is correct one over is correct the tiger jumped over the deer over upon deer upon the deer crossing the deer jumping so these type of questions are made from prepositions using before nouns and pronouns so what are the questions you should ask the sentence given above mean anything anything here uh, what is here you learn here what are the identify what are the prepositions here do you think some words are needed to make the sentence grammatically correct what are those words ask the students what are that words from the sentence what are the grammatical words used prepositions so ask the students to read these used prepositions from the sentence where do you keep these words in the sentence where do you keep these words in the sentence so these are the prepositions time questions sentence and prepositions so this is what about prepositions pick and say the activity name is pick and say so please understand and identify the children with groups and give the exercise this type so thank you very much thank you for watching please subscribe bye bye thank you